اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ and welcome back to Ramadan reflections for 2022 today being the third day of the blessed month of Ramadan the theme that we want to look at in terms of the prophet in the Quran the blessed and beloved messenger of Allah the prophet Muhammad may Allah bless him and his family is the prophet being the fulfillment of the prof- of the prayer of prophet Ibrahim peace be upon him now you know as an introduction we know that the prophet of Islam our beloved prophet Muhammad may Allah bless him and his family has told us in a beautiful tradition that dua the supplication is the weapon of the believer at the same time we're also told that there are times in which our supplications our duas may take time to materialize you know we live in a world of a fast paced very ever moving world our food is fast we love fast food we love fast cars we definitely love our fast internet you know and so we want everything instant we want instantaneous gratification in this world we don't want to wait a week or a day or even an hour sometimes for something we want instant satisfaction right then and there at the tips of our fingers however you know when it comes to dua the supplication that is not an instantaneous a uh, response from God that we will always get many times we pray to Allah we ask God for things which we feel are good for us however the response from Allah may not seem to come fast enough how many times people pray for a spouse for children for wealth for better health for safety security and so many other things and strangely seemingly they never arrive on time if at all now perhaps years down the road that which we prayed for would finally come to fruition and our duas would finally bear the fruits we hoped for but sometimes that may take 3 5 10 years 20 years just ask a couple that cannot conceive and for 10 12 15 years of married life they can't have a child and then through all of the supplications and ziyarat and hajj and umrah they perform and tawassul they engage in a child is given to them by Allah that child could have been given 15 years before but Allah delayed the fulfillment of that dua why why would Allah do that well i'm not going to give you all the answers today but you know the moral of the story really brothers and sisters is never give up never give up on Allah and never think that Allah did not hear us he hears everybody however sometimes delay is best this world is not or this the spiritual world at least is not a world of instant gratification and sometimes it is better for our dua to be delayed because only Allah knows what he has in store for us and this is the case with the verse under review for today that I want to speak about in this blessed day of Ramadan You know Prophet Ibrahim peace be upon him who will we be reflecting on his dua this afternoon or today he's a unique prophet out of all of the prophets of the history that God has sent only two of them were imams one of them of obviously is Prophet Muhammad may Allah bless him and his family and the second is Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam from him is what today the world calls him as being the father of monotheism because from his offspring come uh the children of Israel from his offspring come what are known today as the uh, as the Christian community and from his his offspring come of what is known as the Muslim ummah now the narrative in surah al-baqarah chapter number 2 paints the lead up to the verse that I want to review today and the dua in the following way at the very beginning when you look at the verses of surah al-baqarah and the story of nabi ibrahim peace be upon him allah began by ordering ibrahim and his young son Ismail peace be upon him who would later on be a prophet to purify the house of Allah the Kaaba purified for those who would visit it who would spend time in it who would, in worship and in devotion to Allah once the house was built Allah ordered them to purify the house to get it ready for humanity the Quran then shows us that prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam makes a petition an appeal a passionate appeal to Allah and asks him to make Mecca a secure and a safe town and to give its inhabitants untold blessings from Allah 
Those who believe in Allah in the last day, Nabi Ibrahim, peace be upon him, prays for that Allah may give them all of these and much more. From here at this point, the Quran then tells us that Nabi Ibrahim and Ismail, peace be upon both of them, they raised the foundations of the Kaaba and they rebuilt it as it had been, as it had been destroyed in the past. Once that construction work is completed, and Ibrahim and Ismail, peace be upon them, take a step back to look at their efforts and their, their work at rebuilding the house of Allah. It's at this point Allah begins to quote a series of supplications of du'as of Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him. One of the first things that Nabi Ibrahim asks for from Allah is to make both him and his son Ismail, peace be upon him, as true and sincere Muslims. Then he asks Allah to bring forth a nation from his offspring, from Ismail, that will be submissive, ummatan, muslimatan, lak. And then from this point comes the verse of review for today of Ramadan reflections, which is where Nabi Ibrahim, peace be upon him, makes a dua to Allah, which would take not a year, not 10 years, not 100 years, not 1,000 years. It would take over 3,500 years to be fulfilled. And what does Nabi Ibrahim, peace be upon him, pray for in chapter 2, verse 129? He says the following. أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رَبَّنَا وَبَعَثْ فِيهِمْ رَسُولًا مِنْهُمْ يَتْلُوْ عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتِكْ وَيُؤَلِّمُهُمُ الْكِتَابَ وَالْحِكْمَةَ وَيُزَكِّيهِمْ إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ الْعَزِيزُ الْحَكِيمُ O Lord, raise up among that community a messenger of their own, reciting to them your revelations and instructing them in the book that you will reveal to him and the wisdom and purifying the people of false beliefs and doctrines and purifying them of sins and all kinds of uncleanliness. Surely you the all, are the all-glorious with irresistible might, the all-wise. Do you see the beauty of this supplication, brothers and sisters? This is a dua that Prophet Ibrahim made, peace be upon him, not for himself. No, he was much more forward-thinking. He was praying for the future of humanity. For Allah to raise a messenger from the people of Mecca, a prophet that would be unique, he would recite the words of Allah to that society and as an extension to all humanity. He would also be a teacher of the book, the Quran and the wisdom, and that he would also be tasked with working to purify the society, remove the impurities, the spiritual, the mental, the social, the economic, the political, all of the filth that had gathered in that valley of Mecca over the generations that there was a cessation in divine guidance and revelation. And this is the point I want to leave us with, brothers and sisters. A dua made by our spiritual father Ibrahim, peace be upon him, Prophet Abraham, took 3,500 some odd years to materialize and reach to fruition. Not because Allah could not speed up the process. No, that's not the, that's not the issue here. But rather it was for reasons only known to Allah that this dua had to take time to develop and finalize and mature and grow to the point where the Prophet could actually now be brought into the city of Mecca. And so we must also appreciate that our supplications, they may not be fulfilled immediately. I hope they don't take 3,500 years, but you know what? We should never lose hope in Allah. If that's one message I want to leave with you today in this blessed month of Ramadan, is never lose hope in Allah, brothers and sisters. We have to be patient. We have to wait for the right time. And that is not our time. That is God's time. What Allah has determined to be the best time for us. We, in the meantime, we fulfill our responsibilities. Life goes on. You know, the train has to continue going. But we wait for Allah to fulfill His side of the agreement. But knowing that we continue on with life. Now although Prophet Muhammad, may Allah bless him and his family, is the fulfillment of the dua of Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him, there obviously would be many more prophets to come before the light of Prophet Muhammad, may Allah bless him and his family, would reach and illuminate this earth. In fact, one of the last prophets to speak about his successor was Prophet Isa, peace be upon him, Prophet Jesus. Now, what did he say? What was the response of his so-called followers? 
Well, tune in tomorrow for our fourth day of Ramadan Reflections as we review Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, and his words encouraging his community to wait for the last savior named Ahmad. Until then, wassalamu alaikum jamian wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.